Welcome back. A very special Inside South Florida shout out to everyone watching this morning in Fort Lauderdale. Thank you. Entrepreneur Chad Bronstein is no stranger to hard work. At just 35 years old, he has established himself as a trailblazer in tech and cannabis, bridging the gap between major mainstream brands and the undervalued market of cannabis consumers. I spent some time with him and got the lowdown on his success and his life. Thanks for having me, Jason. It's great to have you here. Super impressed with you, man. You've been called one of the most successful young entrepreneurs of your generation. That's a title, man. How did you cultivate your business acumen? Um, you know, since a young age, I've always had a, you know entrepreneurial spirit. My uh, parents always, you know, pushed me to work and do things. And, um, you know, I always just, you know, my they would say I was a nag because I was always nagging for something. And so in order to get that something, I'd always have to work for it. So. Uh, I always figured out ways. And so I think it's just, you know, always been an entrepreneur and been a, you know, competitive person and just, you know, more competitive with myself and like, what can I do to be better? And, um, and so, yeah, it's, I think it was born in me. You, yes, you have all those incredible traits, right? Throughout, throughout your, your childhood, I'm sure your young adulthood, you realize that you were a special person. Was there one moment, Chad, where you thought, wow, I act, I absolutely and actually have what it takes to be very successful? I mean, I think that's a, that's a good question. I think that um, I, when I was 10 or 11 years old, I, uh, you know, there was the, everyone loves this story. I don't know why, but there's the Beanie Baby trend. And uh, it's kind of like how Pokemon is for our, uh, this generation. And um, everyone was like, these are collectibles. We're going to keep them forever. And I was, you know, hitting up the paper, calling people and uh, buying the ones that were worth money and then selling them. And I think, you know, that was the kind of the start of like what I knew I was good at in sales. And I think, um, you know, I've always just, I've been taught, um, and I think you learn this as older, just be confident and manifest kind of what you want. And so I think for me, it's just always believing in myself and um, I've had a good support system behind me to push me to be better. Your genius, Chad, has birthed several successful endeavors ranging from tech to sports to fitness, specifically Philo, which is a hybrid of cannabis and tech. Why did you want to meld those two worlds? What it was, was I was running a large company. I was bored, at the, to be frank. Um, and I had a couple opportunities and I just wasn't feeling it. And I wanted to jump into, I like challenging um, environments. And I like to do things that most people wouldn't, right? And so cannabis just, um, seemed like an opportunity to really bring in pedigree with not just me, but the people around me that I asked, hey, I'm gonna start this cannabis company, do you wanna come with me? And they're like, yeah, we like we like the opportunity. So we saw an opportunity to build um, a company that would eventually become mainstream. And when I say mainstream, it's destigmatize what people think of cannabis and then take it mainstream. And we've done that. We have mainstream brands buying our data constantly. Um, and it's just been a really fun uh, experience to learn a lot. I've learned so much about what cannabis is and how it helps people and so yeah um it was a it was a trend that i saw as a good opportunity that i ended up really loving what i do with it you're at heart an athlete right you you are a sports enthusiast and your business acumen also led you to conquer the world of that teaming up with mike tyson of all people mike tyson you're like when you when someone says that to you and you actually stop and sit down and think about who mike tyson is do you yeah. have a moment you're like, wait a minute, yeah, this guy's a legend. Yeah, no, I, I have those moments a lot with Mike. You don't realize it when you're with him because he's actually, he's super down to earth. And he, I, uh, everywhere I go with him, like he, he treats everyone, you know, anyone that stops him, he'll talk to. The reason why Mike's so successful is he talks, you know, both from like um, decriminalizing cannabis, you know, and getting people out of the prison system, as well as how cannabis has helped him become a better person. And so that's why, um, it's been a successful endeavor. And I, I, back to your question is, yeah, there's a lot of times I'm like, Mike Tyson touches a nostalgic um, memory for everybody. You sure. can be five years old, my son, who knows about what Mike Tyson is. And then my grandfather's past, who's a hundred years old, who knows who Mike Tyson is, right? right? And so that's the different, that's what Mike is an icon. For you, after everything you've done, all the success that you've achieved at such a very young age, again, one of the youngest, most successful entrepreneurs in recent time, what does the future look like? Is there a time where Chad will say, hey, I'm done. Let me go and, and ride off into the sunset with all with all my bags of money. Um, you know, I think for me, it's like I, I, I definitely um, will eventually 
not operate companies and move in towards helping continuing to help other companies i invest in a lot of companies and um I'm more of a you know hustler and operator myself, so I personally would like to go help other CEOs um, in the future. You know, start things they're passionate about, and my team, the people I work with, and help those companies grow. So I think the future would be stepping back from operations and moving more towards um, venture in the future, so I can help other companies. Whatever you do, you're going to be a colossal success. Uh, Chad, where can we find out more about Philo? Um, HelloPhilo.com. HelloPhilo.com, entrepreneur Chad Bronstein. Wonderful to have you on Inside South Florida. Thank you. Thank you, Jason, for having me. Appreciate it.